You know, one of the questions I get asked the most is, what is the most affordable grinder that you can recommend for coffee and espresso? And I've heard a lot of good things about the Normcore V2 grinder. So what we're going to do today is unbox the grinder and check it out. Now, something to mention about this grinder is it's, it can be had for under $100 or euros. And I got this one, in fact, for even cheaper. I think it was below 80 at the time. So that is a very reasonable price for a grinder. Comes in this nice case here. Take a look at that. Very fancy. Kind of reminds me of a GoPro case or something similar. And here is the grinder. It's actually pretty light. Um, feels like aluminum. And I can hear that it is uh, not magnetic. It's held on there with threads. So that has some pros and some cons, which we'll come to later. Comes with this little plastic, uh, what is this called? A little plastic blower. That's kind of nice to have, actually. Uh, and here we've got the knob. There we are. So the knob is one piece. It is a, a metal rod with a wooden knob on top. And yes, it feels pretty good in the hand. Then we've got a brush. It actually looks like a pretty nice brush if you have a look right there. Um, I've been given some really cheap brushes before in kits. Uh, and this one actually seems like a nice brush. So kudos to you, Normcore, for providing a good brush as well as this little blower here. Uh, it does come with just a card, grinding preset, and it looks like a, a manual here as well. It comes in French, English, and German, Spanish, and Italian. So the first thing that I want to look at is how close can the burrs be before they touch while they're idling with no beans in there. So first of all, this is how it looks. I think it looks actually pretty handsome. So what we're going to do is we're going to click it all the way to fine. That is fine. There are 24 clicks here, by the way, on the dial. And when it's too fine, obviously the burrs are touching, so you won't be able to turn it. Now let's open it up six. And unfortunately, it's still touching. Let's open up six more. There, it's no longer touching. Now you don't hear anything. Let's move back down from 12 to 10. Still good to eight. Okay, eight touch, nine. Okay, so as it turns out, nine is the finest you can go without the burrs touching. That is something important to notice because you do not want the burrs touching while you're grinding. So we're gonna have to find out how fine nine actually is. Is that fine enough for espresso? For those of you who would like to know how much it weighs, the grinder weighs. 485 grams and let's see how wide is this grinder how wide is it the diameter is 49.7 so about 50 millimeters in width what else is kind of cool about how they've designed this grinder is that you can put the handle here on the side and that makes it just a little bit more compact for storage as well so that's pretty nice Let's go ahead and just use a grinder. Why not? I am going to measure out 15 grams of medium roast beans. 15, great. And now let's just see how long it takes to grind our 15 grams. In the directions, nine to 18 clicks is what it recommends. I'm gonna try 13 clicks. If you can take a look there, we have got uh, Actually, what's really nice is they list what different types of stainless that this is made out of. So it's a combination of 304 stainless steel and 420 stainless steel. All right, let us open it up. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. We're going to try 13. Let's go. Oh boy, that took just over two minutes. 
And it does look nice and fine. Maybe it will be too fine. Let's see if we can choke the machine. All right, I really don't know what to expect uh, with this grind size, but let's just give it a shot and see how it works out. Ooh, it looks really fine. <laughs> That's probably a little too fine, but what the heck? Let's just give it a shot and see what happens. And here we go. That was way too fine. I'm going to have to try again and I'm gonna try. I was at 13 clicks, so I'm gonna go to 16 clicks. Let's try 16. Perfect. So this way it should also be faster with it opened up a bit. Hopefully this will go through. I could use an espresso. That feels a little bit better. You can feel when you tamp how soft that the grounds are. The finer they are, the softer they are, and the more you can push them down. This feels a bit better. Hopefully we'll get a shot out of it. And here we go. better. So we're going for a two to one ratio, which means I put in 15 of coffee beans, 15 grams of coffee beans, and I want to get about 30 grams of liquid out. We're at 22 now. I'm going to stop it at 30, 28, 30. And we got that in 29 seconds. So that's actually a pretty good grind setting right there for this particular bean uh, 16 on the Normcore V2. All right, so that's what that looks like right there. Pretty good. And very first shot with the Normcore V2 grinder. Crema looks delicious. A little too acidic. I probably should have raised the temperature a little bit by temperature surfing on that DeLonghi, but it's, it's certainly Got a nice body to it, a nice mouth feel, a certain robustness to the flavor. Um, and so for the very first shot that I've tried, and with just the Dedica as a kind of economical starter machine, Normcore V2 grinder has worked pretty well. All right, guys, I hope that this video was helpful for you. And if so, please give it a like, spread it to more people. And uh, if you like what you see, subscribe to the channel. It's totally free. Also, I would ask you if you got any comments, any questions, write them in the comment section down below. I'd be happy to answer those. And until next time, I say happy coffee drinking and happy espresso drinking. Bye now.